Good morning YouTube. So we slept here last night. Well not actually where I am right now. We actually slept over there. However, we were intruding early this morning. There was a guy that actually came about four o'clock and he started setting up for the golf game that they've just finished playing here. Damn it man, what are we doing? We seem to always get in everyone's way. These dudes over here are playing golf. They're setting up their golf equipment and we we're sleeping right there in the middle of it. It's like five o'clock in the morning too. So I was sleeping right about here, right next to number three. Eric is sleeping over there by number eight, I think. But we've now resituated over to this awning over here where we've got everything set up. So I think we might be spending the day again here at this park. We might actually go on the other side of the island where I went yesterday and did that little challenge of getting all the errands done. We might head back over that way to go to the McDonald's or something like that. But right now I'm just editing a video and we're probably gonna fly the drone as well. But I do have this pretty low desk here in the middle where we've situated all our, actually pretty good little editing station where you can like sit down with your knees crossed and actually be at a good height with the computer. That's good. But we're just doing some early morning drone flights. CP is actually teaching me how to fly the Mavic Pro. After mine broke, I think I might be getting this one next probably. Makes it look so easy. So it's about 11.30. We've been bumming around here at this beach park for quite a few hours now and I've just realized that we should probably do something because it's good to relax and everything, but we're on such a pretty cool island. There's so many things to do that I didn't actually realize. So the plans are, first off, I gotta fill up my water bottles, but we're actually packing up the bikes and everything. This island is pretty small compared to, you know, bigger islands that they have here in Japan. We're gonna probably dedicate the next couple of days, maybe three or four days even, to exploring this island. They have really cool waterfalls. While it's still relatively pretty warm today, we wanna to get to the waterfall relatively soon. We're gonna check out a Lawson, which is like literally like two kilometers away from where we are now. So it's like a five minute ride or so. And we're just gonna eat our frogs, our YouTube videos, get those uploaded if the wife is fast enough so then we can come back this way we're going this way waterfall is back behind us so we should be able to check out the waterfall then so unfortunately the Lawson didn't have the best Wi-Fi it was pretty slow but we're on this awesome island I was finding myself falling asleep there at, at that beach camp spot for like a couple of hours and I was so out of it I was demotivated to do anything but you know what we're on this awesome island we need to explore it so today we're in search for an awesome Japan waterfall. In order to find this waterfall, we're using old school navigational techniques with the good old trusty map. We found our waterfall. No, I'm just kidding. We're actually about somewhere here on this road. We're gonna go to the end of this road and then take a right and then that's where the waterfall is. We're almost there. I definitely say we're making our way into the whoop whoops as they have roads that are so skinny that they're wide enough to be just one lane. Definitely in the middle of nowhere. So we just passed this little side entrance here off the road. I do see the river. We are on the hunt for this waterfall and I also do hear running water. So that's promising that the waterfall is down here. It could possibly be down here. So I'm gonna go check it out. So this was the culprit. This is the water I heard. Not the waterfall we're looking for. However, it looks like a little shrine location. And also there's a statue of some dude here as well. And there's a little bridge with, I think that's the shrine over there. However, there actually is a sign here of a waterfall. And I think we have to go over this bridge, walk up along the side there, and there's steps that go up and into the forest over there. I think there is a waterfall. Just before crossing the bridge, there's like another shrine here. There is a little waterfall there. Dude, that thing does not look happy. What is it? That's like freaking me out, dude. The eyes on it? What is it? 
Look at it. Oh, looking at it, I'd probably be possessed. So, so Eric found this creepy-eyed statue thing. I don't even know what it is, but I'm not going to look at it. I've looked at enough possessive things it. this trip. So if you want to see it, go to the College Pickers video. I have a link down below. So we've just got a short hike. See if we can find this waterfall. So we had no success looking for the really cool waterfall that we've seen on the map. There's this really awesome picture of the waterfall. It's actually a pretty big waterfall and we don't really see much of anything here. Only small little waterfalls off little bits of rocks here and there. So we're going to come back down and hit the road, get back on the road and see if we can get down a bit further and find an actual really cool waterfall. I think we've possibly found the waterfall. If you can just see right where that water ends, that's like the, that looks like the top of a waterfall. So we're going to inspect. So it turns out it's actually a man-made structure. It's not quite the waterfall I was expecting. So we're still on the hunt. <laughs> so much bamboo. So we're having some trouble finding the waterfall. I had to go down and ask a local, a guy down here, he was doing some farming. I tried to ask him, it's very difficult. I'm walking backwards because the sun's right there and I'm trying to get the sunlight on me. Yeah, it's very difficult to try and communicate like what we want in regards to trying to find a waterfall because because they speak Japanese, we speak English. Very simple and it's um, quite difficult to communicate through those language barriers. But what we gained from that conversation was the entrances over there, which we kind of already knew. But we're just going to keep walking around and see if we can find it. I think we found our waterfall. We did pass it before. I passed it not thinking that this was a waterfall because it is pretty pathetic of a waterfall. It's not what I was expecting. It is disappointing. There's like all the water runoff from the rice fields and the water just looks disgusting. There's not much movement there as, as well and it's just grotty. Look at that, I ain't getting in there. Unfortunately, this waterfall was a huge disappointment. I brought my GoPro and everything, expecting to get some pretty epic shots. Sorry to disappoint you guys. But there is one more waterfall on this island that hopefully in the next couple of days we'll be able to check out. And hopefully it wasn't a disappointment like this one. So on that sour note, let's do something semi-adventurous. After leaving that really disappointing waterfall in the middle of nowhere, we just popped out onto the coast here and we've got beautiful coastal views. So this is another look at the Awaji Island that we're cycling around at the moment. So up here is where we caught the ferry to this bridge or thereabouts around that bridge. We've ridden along here and it was about here somewhere where we stopped with Naoya the other night. We've ridden to about right here where we are now, the cycling oasis. They do say this is a cycling oasis. However, I think it's probably like forgotten. It's like overgrown and all the grass and stuff like along the top here. It's just quite long and the water, the tap in the water doesn't even work as well. So I think this was supposed to be a cycling oasis, but it's one that's been abandoned and left and forgotten. However, looking on the bright side, coming up along here, we have a Lawson in the next town by the looks of things. And also Rabo, I've never used that word ever, but well done to Awaji Island. For these bike parking setups, these are actually really strong ones that are actually cemented in the ground, so they ain't moving anywhere. And they are also high enough. We had some difficulties with some other parking situations where they'd just be sat on the ground and you put your bike up against it with heavy touring bikes that just fall straight over. So this is worth a thumbs up. So I'm not sure if they have tsunami troubles here because everywhere I've seen, they have these height above sea level signs up everywhere. So here we're actually 5.8 meters above sea level. But they have this sign here that's like a tsunami wave. So I'm not sure if they like have tsunamis around this area. We were just about to roll out and I just noticed that I have an SD card laying on top of my pannier bag. I think it's been there all day. It's just been chilling here and it hasn't fallen off. I'm not sure if it's this island, the current area that we're in at the moment. It's kind of like Onion Central. They're just growing onions left, right and centre and I'm just getting the smell and aroma of onions. It's bloody amazing. Every little town you ride into... That's good. Yeah. What? 
we we rode America. Goodbye. Yeah, have it. Bye. Bye. There's a local market here that's that's selling onions. onions. Like 200, 200 yen. yen. Yeah, that's it. So this island's famous for onions, so we got some onions. So the onions are grown fresh right here and for sale right over there. As fresh as you can get them. Snack of the day is an awaji onion from the island here. Bought it from a farmer, a bag for 200 yen. I'm gonna peel this bad boy, Cody's gonna peel it, and we're gonna actually eat one raw each. We're in Japan, we're going to peel this bad boy up. Might for it to kick in. Is it spicy? I don't know yet. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? Oh. After we're done <coughs> eating these, the mosquitoes are not gonna bother us. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's a good thing. Wow. We made it here to Kino Beach, which is where we're actually going to be camping for tonight. Not sure exactly where we're going to camp. We haven't found a spot here on the beach yet. We've just set the bikes up. Eric's going for a dip. I've got some stuff charging back there. But there's actually this pretty cool whirlpool setup that they got going on a bit further down the island. I think it's maybe another 10k ride. So we're going to check that out tomorrow, hopefully. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video for that. But I'm not sure how far we rode for today. It was probably like 30 kilometers or something like that. So I think we might be camping here tonight. It's like a stage thing that has a heap of hands. No shortage of hands. I think we might be camping up on this tonight. So I've got the monstrosity charging up here. They have outlets down here. Laptops charging, phones charging, camera batteries charging. Check out behind this stage area here. They have like these faces. Let me get on the other side and show you. Look at all the faces. They're all their own little individuals. Whoa, check out this dude, he's got six eyes. That is insane. The sun is actually just setting. We're just sitting here adoring this beautiful sunset. It's one of the many sunsets that we've been able to adore here in Japan. It's absolutely awesome. Being here on the on the coast here on the beach, it's been amazing to it's been amazing to be gifted with all these sunsets. Eric's just flying the drone behind me, get some cool shots with the bike and the sunset in the background there. But thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, drop a comment down below if you have any questions or any feedback as well. I'd really appreciate some feedback on these videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll stop pointing at you. See you guys. See you guys in the next one.